So I said it to everyone that came in. We have a policy here. If they come in alive, they stay alive. We never lost one in triage. Now, they may have lost him in surgery, in ICU, on the ward, or they may have lost him in the aircraft going home. But in that triage area, if they came in alive, we kept them alive. I wasn't old enough at the time to sign to go into the Army Nurse Corps, so I had to take the paper home. And only my father could sign the paper, not my mother, my father. And my father looked down at the paper and he said, you know, child, if I be signing this piece of paper, you're going to war. And I went, I am? And he said, there's a war going on over there in that Southeast Asia somewhere. He said, you're going to war. Responsibilities that consumed most of my time was the management of the flow of casualties and the management of supplies. We ran low on blood a lot of times, and there was a couple of times when we actually drew blood from the hospital personnel. My men were uh, very unique. Um, they came from uh, the native lands of New Mexico, they came from the mountains of Utah, uh, they came from Detroit, New York, you know, they were just a microcosm of this country. They came from Texas, they came from Georgia, they came from, you know, the banks of the Mississippi, and they were very strong, patriotic people. They were darn good, they were good at what they did. He had one arm gone with a lung uh, exposure. He had both legs gone with intestines on the litter. And he came in, he was as white as these umbrellas are. And I got up on him and I couldn't get a pulse. And I slammed down on his chest and I said, darn it all, we lost him. And he opened his eyes and said, I'm still alive. And I said, that's all you have to say, sweetheart. And we saved him. Being where I was in the triage, in the emergency room, I came face to face with death on a daily basis. Sometimes I got angry because, you know, they were too young. I, I never got depressed, you know, just I was going to do it. You have to do it. This is your job. You know, go and do it. I consider the service an honor, and I don't consider it a detriment to my life. I became better because of Vietnam.